right when I steal that phone, the cops ended up just coming five feet later. Five feet. Wake up in the morning and the kush what I taste. What I taste. Smoke kush to the face, I wake up in the morning and I What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Young Mike back at it with another five video. And today, as y'all can see in the title, I'm about to be telling y'all about a story time about how I used to rob people, how I used to <laughs> steal, all that stuff, and why it's bad and you shouldn't do it, and how I learned from my consequences. So, without further ado, let's get started. Today we got Dre, shout outs to Dre. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know why he has his shit zipped like that, but he think he one of them cool, my black shirt. cool pimp looking at. I don't like zipping it all the way up. <laughs> Reminds me of the Turn people back. like the mafia. They got their shit zipped like this with the gold chain yeah. and the hairy chest. Uh, These are the hairy chest. Shout outs to the glass tip. Y'all already know what's up. With a bunch of friends, we were in the store and like, we were really hungry, like, but I'm telling y'all, like, my mom, she didn't really have, like, food or money. <coughs> so. Damn! So, like, when when we would, like, go to stores and stuff, we couldn't really get, like, the good stuff, like, the big candy bars and stuff like that. So, I was, in, I was in the hood. I was with my homies. We all went to the store. And I remember, like, boom, we were stealing candy. I have been so thirsty. And I'm talking about, we, would, we won't just steal candy. No, no, no. We'll get the fat, fat Hershey bars, bro. And we'll just get a bunch of them. <laughs> we'll, we'll have, one time we had a backpack, right? And we were like four deep. And we just got like, I remember we, we went in with an empty ASS backpack, right? Then we come out and this backpack is like 50 pounds, bro. Right. All candy goods all that stuff right boom right when we're walking out the door the security is like hey can i check your backpack or what's in the backpack right because like i said we walked in empty yeah. and we came out like we just went camping or something <laughs> Back -back. yeah so boom this is what it's all i remember he opens the backpack he sees all this stuff looks up and i see everybody running so i'm running too boom we just chop it <laughs> Like, dang, bro, like, we got caught. <laughs> yeah, got caught. <laughs> yeah, we got caught, and then we just ran. I remember they even knew who we were somehow. Like, they caught our parents, bro. They caught our parents. Our parents found out. Our parents made, my parents made, not my parents, but, like, my grandma. Yeah. And my mom, they made me go back and apologize. I wasn't going for that. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm already gone. Mm. I ain't going back. I'm sorry. I'm saying, bro. But then, like, boom. So, then I was like, bro, I can't, I can't steal no more. Then guess what? I'm doing the same thing. I'm over here in the same store, but, like, a year later. And I'm with one other homie. And we're getting the big Hershey bars. I remember I just put mine in my pocket. Homie put his, like, inside his thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he stashed it all. Like, he's across the border or something and I'm thinking like you ain't gotta do all that just put it in your pocket right yeah. <laughs> so boom we're about to walk out I'm thinking I scored you know I got some chocolate I got some of this some of that and boom I get stopped by this guy it's the security of course and I'm my heart drops cuz I got caught before you you know and then boom he's all like can can you empty your pockets whatever And I, I empty my pockets and I used to see the candy bars and all this stuff. And he's like, where's the other ones? And he's talking about my homie because my homie took more. Not right? Me. Yeah, not him. Me. But then like, so boom. He starts running to the back. He's like, let me go get it. He was smart because I walked behind him. But the officer stayed right there. And then he's just throwing all this stuff. Like, they have him on camera too, obviously. So Dude, they probably out, saw like, him. Oh. Yeah, he was just throwing all the stuff, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and I'm like, damn. And they like, boom. They say he could go home, and then they they kept me. And then they <laughs> called my parents and all that. <coughs> wow. And when I say parents, it was like my mom. Why are you doing like that? So, yeah, that was when I first started stealing, guys. It was from, like, corner stores. Then it started getting a little more serious, so. You ever come into, like, your car and that shit's, like, broken into, bro? Or, or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just fucking come in and boom, you know what I'm saying? So, 
we were one of those people. I was one of those people. I ain't gonna lie. I was one of those people that would be inside some random person's car trying to find what they had in their car. But of course, I had to learn my lesson with this. But I didn't learn my lesson until I got caught. And that's the thing, guys. I don't want y'all to. I want y'all to watch this video and to kind of take this and, and use this as a lesson for y'all. PSA. But um, basically, I fucking. I'm over, I'm over here, and boom, I'm hitting these cars one night, and it's like, we're like three deep, actually. Yeah, we're three deep. And I'm hitting these cars, boom, boom, boom. And I remember we're just walking down this one street, and we were loaded, we got all this stuff on us, like all this stuff for evidence, kind of, you know. Boom, and we get caught. Well, there's two cops coming, and I tell my homies, I'm like, don't run, don't make it obvious. You know, yeah, like, yeah. if we would've ran, boom, that's a charge, automatically. Persistent. Yep. Boom, so I said, don't run. I told him, I told him, don't run, because I already knew they were probably going to run. No, that's not what happens. They asked me, what, where are you going, yada, yada, and I'm like, uh, I'm just, I didn't know what to say, y'all. Like, uh, I, I didn't, I don't remember what I said, honestly. I was like, just like, like, just trying to tell them, like, I'm, I'm finna throw up and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know what they said. And then they were like, apparently, one homie said, we're co going to his girlfriend's house then another homie said that we're coming from a party then I was supposed to say something but I didn't say nothing but I needed to throw up and I didn't feel good and I couldn't talk I was like <sighs> like cuz bro I didn't, know, I didn't know what they said right and like I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to say or what what they yeah, like if yeah, they knew already wrong, yeah. like I was pretty sure the cops already knew like what's up so basically what happening was all they had to do was empty our pockets. Boom, we had colognes, we had all this stuff, and then that's, that's, that's when I found out about their stories. Some, but the officer was like, wait, you have all this stuff going to your girlfriend's house? And he's all like, yes, sir. And then another guy was like, say, okay, and you're coming from a party. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, all, none of our stories matched up, bro. And then guess what? They already had us. They had a call saying that we were breaking into cars trying to steal them. Not steal from the cars, but trying to steal the cars, bro. So at this point, we're all in the squad cars, and I learned my lesson. That's all y'all gotta know. I was on probation too. I t actually I had a warrant, bro. Then I started robbing people, y'all. <laughs> Let's get to the juicy details. And don't worry, y'all. Like, yo, why you self-incriminating yourself? It's First off, I don't steal no more, and I haven't stolen in like years. Second of all, I paid all the consequences for my actions as far as doing time for that. And trust me, I did all this unnecessary time for this dumb BS. Get on with this one. So I'm gonna tell y'all about this one time that I was really dumb, and I, I I remember like I got caught up one time for stealing a phone at school. Um, basically. That was very, yeah, I honestly, I look at back at it and I laugh because that was worth nothing, you know. So this phone, yada, yada, I stole this phone at school. But some fat kid actually took it out the locker, right? Some fat kid, we're in the locker room, some fat kid's like, look, look, iPhone, iPhone. I was like, okay, bet. So boom, I fucking, he was too scared to take it. And then I take it. And then, because I'm from the hood, and this is a north side school. So, I boom. That. I took that, and I just straight <laughs> hopped off campus. I turned that bitch off, hopped off campus, right? Boom. Next thing you know, I didn't, like, that's when I found out they could track iPhones. <laughs> I had that whole my home, bro. I get a knock on my door, and it's a guy with his dad. And they're like, do you have the phone? And I was just like... Nah, I don't got your phone. <laughs> and then I'm like, how? The boom, boom, boom. They hit me up with the with the price that they paid for the phone or whatever. Like some expensive ass price, bro. Like no way. Like eight hundred dollars. No, like more than that. I'm saying, bro. And it was like, not even the newest iPhone. It's like that's when they paid when it first came out. Probably like the first day or something. I don't even know. I ain't even see that. I was like, yo, 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 yo. I put up the same phone for like half of that or whatever. Long story, but basically, I didn't have to pay for that phone, but I did get in trouble with my probation officer, which is even worse because you could get a probation violation and then you do time for that. So basically, if you wasn't on probation, you would have been good. 
yeah, you would have been good as far as unless they would have taken me to court. And they look like they would have been trying to take me to court. Yeah. And once you go to court, you would have to pay that shit, either in community service or, you know. And basically, yeah, that's when I learned stealing phones, especially iPhones, is not good. <laughs> but actually, I didn't learn that that day because, honestly, I was... <laughs> like, yes, like, literally. Because, like, literally, bro, like, and this time I was like, boom, I'm going to just have it in my house. But I, that's this is where I messed up. And this is where God would tell you, what you're doing wrong. So, boom. I see this Asian people and they have like their iPhones out and they're like this, bro. Look like this. See that? <laughs> so they're like this, right? And I'm like, okay, bet. I'm walking home. I'm broke as AF and I have nothing to do. I'm just trying to chill, you know, sell a phone and smoke up, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. I see them on their phones and they're Asian. I'm like, okay. They can't even talk English, you know, we could make oh this pop. Well. <laughs> I swear, I run home. I run home, bro, for his gump on him, bro, I swear. I went under my, my couch, bro. Boom. Ran all the way back. I swear, bro, I did, I did this at first. I put, like, my face in the mask, and I was like, give me that, boom, boom. Like, that's gonna help. And yeah, and then some guy, who, he was walking his dog, and he looked to the left, and he was just looking at me, bro, and he just saw everything. So I just, that's when I put my mask off, or whatever, my mask, my shirt. I put my shirt off, and I he was, one of the Asian guys ran off, but the <laughs> other one that had the iPhone, he was still there, and I got the iPhone, and I pushed him. And then, boom, I'm running, and I swear, I take only, like, five steps, and I look to the right, and I see five squad cars. Off rip. They must have been watching a block or something, bro. I don't know. Five squad, I mean five squad cars. Five steps and two squad cars were coming in. I said, what the freak? Boom, boom, boom. I'm running. I got the pistol on me. I got the stolen goods. It's bad. It's really bad. Boom. I remember I run, run, run. Boom. I cut in the cut and then I go up these stairs, right? And then the stairs, it's like, it's this way. And then there's the washer and dryer and then it goes down <laughs> another way. And... On the first, it was like the first of the block, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, I'm up the stairs, I'm right here, yada, yada. You getting out of juicy details. Boom. I throw the pistol or whatever. And then some guys, this random guy when I'm running, you know what I'm saying, where I, where I pull up or whatever, and these guys are like, hey, you know where to get some? He's talking about like some weed, and I'm like, nah, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. I'm all like, you know, I'm scared, yada, yada. <laughs> heart beating fast and then he's all like hey and the cops are here you know why the cops here i'm like the cops here boom i go i look down to the stairs like the other way from where i came from and it's like a cop and he's like hey come here boom i run down the other way and i remember i was i thought i was cool as fuck like i didn't think i was cool as fuck but i was just like i jumped down so all these stairs bro like all of them i thought and boom i just remember falling <laughs> Landed on my foot. I landed like, say this is my two feet, right? I landed like that, right on my. There you go, Mr. Scary Killer. I'm panicking now. Oh, God. My foot, boom. I'm in Sperry's, bro. Y'all remember when Sperry's were around? Hmm. So boom, I'm in Sperry's. I mess up my foot and I continue. I didn't feel it, you know. You don't feel it at first. So you just, I just kept on running. Boom, 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 boom. And I ducked that cop, yo. I ducked it. I thought I got away. When you thought you got away, you know. You seen that show? When you almost got away. That's what it was. I was like, <sighs> I still had the iPhone, yo, that I stole. This so at this point, phone. at this point, I'm just chilling right at this one spot, all like ducked off, bro, like straight, <laughs> like. Like a chicken cage type shit. Let's appreciate it. Like a chicken cage type shit. Boom. I at the time I didn't know, you know, about like how injured my foot was. So I'm I'm chilling at this one spot and then finally I, I remember going home and my grandma was like, Boom, they knew who you were, they're looking for you. We gotta what are you gonna do? And I'm like, Well she was gonna call the cops, you know what I'm saying, of course. Cause she don't want no trouble with the yeah. cops. So I was like, dang, I don't know what to do. I couldn't walk, y'all. So I had to, like, this is where I learned my lesson. Like, God, it was like an arm for an arm. Like, I took the phone. Hey, instant karma. I break my foot, y'all. Instant karma, bro. Like, instant. Not only that, right when I steal that phone, the cops ended up just coming five feet later. Five feet. 
Do you know how fast that is? That's like five seconds, bro. I literally look to the right after the robbery, and you see these squad cars pull up. Like, all, that all played out. Like, God all played that out, bro. If you think about it, you know what I'm saying? He did that for a reason. So, I couldn't walk all that time for, for like, the whole time until I went home. I couldn't walk. I was hopping home, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I, it was it hurt so bad. Like, damn. So, boom, I had to go to the hospital. I had to turn myself in. Boom, probation violation. More time. I'm telling you, I was on probation from 12 years old to, to 18, and that's when you could get off. Damn. That's fucking... And it was terrible, y'all. I had to do all this stuff. I had to do that. You know what I'm saying? For years, bro. Years, years. Like, years, bro. And then I got off. Guess how I got off probation? I ran uh, again. I got. A, I thought I was going to get a warrant. They were like, boom. It was dropped once you're 18. And I wish I knew that for months, you know, because I was living... Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> All right, y'all, so never mind that. <laughs> oh, we go. So, damn, we got, um, I got caught up for that probation violation, and I ended up just wasting my life on probation because every other thing was worried about probation. Uh, worried about the laws after me and stuff like that just living in the shadows when I could have been made it before I know everything happens for a reason. Yes, but I could have been done this years ago Proving the other stuff. I was blowing up while I was in jail. Yo, do you know how bad that is? That's why I was the best person in there You know what I'm saying because I had a future waiting for me people didn't understand that they thought they were cool being bad and shit yeah, So basically I ended up learning my lesson from all these things that occurred to me and I have more stories like I'm talking about yeah, more juicy stories yes but I just want to know if y'all want to hear them so if y'all do make sure y'all share this video like this video Come. subscribe and if you like you also get 10 years good luck Remember? 10? yeah I thought it was 10 yeah I thought you'd get to survive to see on it only 10 but yeah, so maybe in ten years from now you have to like to get another team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, cause I read the comments and I try to answer as much as possible. Um, but yeah, it's your boy Young Mike, and I'll be back at it with some more fire videos. Okay.